What is up fellow YouTubers, it's Keith here. We are back with another quick tutorial on utilizing LVM, or Logical Volume Management. In a previous video, we attached an Elastic Block Store Volume to a Linux instance and showed you that the block device was available to be formatted. We are back on that same instance, SSH via PuTTY. Now, you can utilize this on any Linux operating system that supports LVM. It is extremely flexible as it utilizes the kernel's device mapper features, allowing partitions completely independent of the underlying disk layout. So just to recap, we attached this uh, 10 gig EBS volume, elastic block store volume, to our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.6 instance. And again, this isn't specific to uh, AWS or, or necessarily Red Hat Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You can utilize this on any uh, Linux distro that supports LVM. So we are currently SSH'd, we are root, um, we do not have uh, LVM2, which is what we're going to utilize installed by default. I'm just going to go ahead and install it real quick. Let it do its thing. All right, let's go ahead and clear this terminal. Jump right in. I'm going to maximize this for you guys. All right, guys, we are fully maximized on our PuTTY CLI. So we're going to do an LSBLK. Just to show you guys the uh, block device, XVDF, our EBS volume, our Elastic Block Store volume um, associated and attached to our Linux EC2 instance is present. It is 10 gigs. And again, this is a Red Hat 7.6 machine, so you don't necessarily have to be utilizing um, Amazon Web Services, any, list any Linux distribution that supports LVM or LVM2 um, can't do this. And it all depends on the specifics of uh, what you're trying to do for your file system. So let's jump right in. First thing we want to do is create a physical volume, an LVM physical volume. We're going to use the pvcreate command. And we're going to do dev xvdf. And that's obviously that block device right here. All right, successfully created. The next thing we want to do is create a volume group that consists of this physical volume that we just created. So we're going to do VG create. Um, we're going to keep this simple, my EBS. And you guys can name this anything you want, perhaps make it more functional um, towards your needs. And then we're going to specify the physical volume XPDF in this case. All right, volume group successfully created. Now the next thing we want to do is create a logical volume utilizing the volume group we just created. So we're going to do LV create minus minus dash capital L. And that signifies the, uh, the length or the size of this logical volume. And it's going to be 10, 10 gigs. We'll do uh, dash N, which is name. We're going to name our logical volume. We're going to keep this pretty simple again, my EBS LV. And then you're going to signify the volume group name next. All right, oh, a little too big there. I'm gonna put this at nine gigs. There we go. All right, let's do an LVS. All right, there's our logic volume, my EBS LV, part of the volume group, my EBS. And got about nine gigs, got a little extra space left. I just couldn't use the full 10 gigs because I think there's about 12 megs um, reserved for some kernel level device mapping stuff. So next what we want to do is create a file system and uh, basically format this thing. So we're going to do a MKFS make file system and it's going to be ext4 and then it's going to be slash dev slash the name of your volume group slash your logical volume. All right, we have successfully created a file system, ext4 file system. So now um, we basically just want to show you guys how to mount this to a directory. Um, depends on what directory you intend to mount it to, but the process is still pretty much the same. So I already have a directory that I created. Um, 
is titled uh, EBS. It's right there. So I want to I want to make sure there's nothing mounted on it currently. Oops. Yep. All right. I want to do a VI. Oh no no. LSBLK-F. It's going to give us some file system type information that we need actually. So this right here is known as the UUID, the Universal Unique Identifier. We want to go ahead and whoop, grab that, do a VI Etsy FS tab. This is our file system table. Uh, UUID equals paste. And then we want to mount this to EBS slash EBS. G4, defaults. I should have pasted this to make this a little faster. So basically, you're going to just paste the UID, um, the directory you want to mount it to, and then the file system type, and then you can just leave the defaults that are that are there from the root partition. Just reuse that default 00. zero. All right, so we right quit that. And we're going to go ahead and do a mount A. And we're going to do a DF H. And there you go. Dev mapper, my EBS. It's mounted to EBS. So the EBS directory has 8.3 gigs available for use. Now, if you wanted to extend this, um, I don't have a lot of space, but I'm going to show you guys the command anyways, and I'm, I'm not actually going to execute it. So let's say you wanted to extend that logical volume there, and you had um, space in your volume group to do so. Like here, I only have, um, what, a thousand megs to play with. So you would run the VGS command and um, make sure you have enough available sp space to allocate and then you would do an LV extend dash dash size. You could do a plus, I don't know, let's say you wanted to add 50 gigs or something like that. And then you do dev this right here, basically. This whole thing. And um, that would extend it by another 50 gigs. But that is the end of the LVM crash course. That is a continuation of the uh, um, EBS volume attachment tutorial for Amazon Web Services. And again, this was a Red Hat Linux 7.6 uh, node that we did this on. So if you guys learned anything from this, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Cyber and You. Thank you for watching.